Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing another week of school lunch inspiration, this time with a Halloween twist. Okay, so Halloween themed lunches. Now all of the ideas that I'm gonna share with you today are actually really easy. You don't even have to be a Pinterest mom to do these ideas. Some of these items are gonna be homemade, while others are gonna be store-bought just to make it a little bit easier. And I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Every time I do these videos, I get a lot of questions about the materials that I use and where you can find them. So I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you'd like to check them out. Oh yes, and before I get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunches. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Now Mondays are kind of my unofficial PB&J days, but today I made it a little bit different because I actually made peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And to make these sandwiches really fun, I used my pumpkin cookie cutter to make a really fun shape. Now I do save the crusts from my sandwiches. I get that question a lot. And I've seen a blog post recently where a lady took all of her crusts and made them into a French toast bake. I thought that was a really good idea, so I might give that a try. Also in the lunch boxes today, I have some slices of Tillamook cheddar cheese, which I've also taken a smaller pumpkin cookie cutter to just make pumpkin shapes with those. Next to the cheese, we have some lightly salted edamame. And then over here, I have some really cute little pumpkin cookies. Now, these pumpkin cookies I get at Trader Joe's, and it's basically a shortbread cookie with yogurt coating and sprinkles on the outside. They are so good. So I'm just packing two in each lunch. Also in today's lunches, I'm packing one of the simple Go-Gurt tubes. And then we also have some snacks today, which are just applesauce pouches. And then in here, we have some pea, snap pea crisps which are these guys, these are really tasty. These are lightly salted, they're baked and not fried, and the kids love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ice packs in here, put the lids on, and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, let's see how they did today. We're gonna go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. She's right over there. Hi. Say hi. What was the best part of lunch today, Mackenzie? The cookies and the snack peas. Yeah, did you like all the Halloween stuff? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so I can tell the snack peas are gone, and so is Everything else, very good. Now I have to say that I kind of bribed the kids with the uh, cookies here. I said, eat your peanut butter and honey sandwich first and then you can have your cookie. And I think that it must have worked because I can see that Jackson also ate all of his food and then he wanted more cookies and same thing with Lily, which is amazing. Actually, let's see, she ate all of her food except for a few few little snap peas are left there, but not, not too bad. All of the kids asked for more cookies, however. They loved those cookies. I'm gonna get those. <laughs> you wanna finish these? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Now I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna try to speed through this, but Tuesday is our nut-free campus day. So today's lunch, completely nut-free and full of Halloween surprises as well. So first off, I'm sending some monster spaghetti dogs. Let me show you how I made those. I just took some all beef, good quality hot dogs and cut them into thirds. And then I took some uncooked spaghetti and poked the spaghetti through the hot dog. Then I just took the hot dog pieces and boiled them long enough for the pasta to be cooked. And then we have these really fun, monster looking hot dogs. To go along with that, I have some pumpkin shaped carrots. Now these didn't turn out perfectly, but I'm kind of in a hurry today. So I just took a really wide carrot, cut two notches out of the top, and then sliced them to sort of resemble a pumpkin shape. Now to go along with their carrots, I also have some of my homemade ranch. Now I did make a video on how I make the homemade ranch. You can go ahead and click the link if you wanna see how I made that. Now also today, I'm sending these really cute little Halloween Baby Bell cheeses. We have Frankenstein and a Dracula and a little pumpkin. Those are so cute. To go along with that, I'm also sending some really fun chips. Now, I don't have goldfish in here, but I love these containers for sending chips or crackers because it keeps them from being crushed. So in here, I just have some little bat, no, they're not bat, they're ghost-shaped potato crisps. These are baked potato crisps. 
And I actually get these from Trader Joe's. These are really tasty and pretty healthy, not too bad for you. So that's what's in there. Now I'm also sending a juice today. This is the Super Fruit Punch. And for a little treat, I'm sending a little tiny Halloween granola bar. These are the cookie and cream flavored ones. And I like that they're smaller, so it's not a really big full bar. And then for snack today, I'm just doing something really simple. I'm sending the uh, pumpkin cereal bar. And again, I get these from Trader Joe's. These are actually really good. Sometimes the pumpkin flavored stuff is kind of funky, but these my kids actually like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up, and then when we get home, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, we're back home now, and here's what we're left with. Now it's kind of hard to tell because we have so many containers, so I'll go ahead and look a little bit closer. Here's Mackenzie's. I can see she has a little bit of baby bell cheese stuck to her thermos, so that's not great. But you ate all of your spaghetti dogs. There's just a few little pieces of spaghetti. So what do you think about these? They were very good. Did your friends think it was funny? Yeah. Yeah. Were they still hot? Yeah, they were hot. They were hot. Cool. I ate those last. Okay, so you just have one chip left. You eat all of your vegetables and everything else. Good job. So let's move on to Jackson's. Jackson ate all of his dogs. He has just one little spaghetti piece left in there. He has a couple bites of his pumpkin cereal bar. And he does have some chips. Just a few chips left in there. But overall, he did really good. Now for Lily, let's see. She ate all of her hot dogs as well. So everybody loved the hot dogs, right? Yeah. She has one carrot left, but I'm not surprised. She doesn't really like carrots. And she has quite a few chips left, so she can still eat those later. And then lastly, she just has maybe two bites left of her granola bar. So overall, pretty good today. Good afternoon, friends, and happy Wednesday. Now on Wednesdays, we usually eat lunch at home, and so that's exactly what we're doing today. Today, the kids and I made some monster hand pizzas. Now these were really easy to make. Let me show you how I made them. First, I started with some store-bought pizza dough, nothing special, and then I very carefully helped the kids to cut out their hand shape. Then the kids took turns adding pizza sauce and the cheese. Now, I took the shredded mozzarella cheese and I did chop it up a bit, just so the pieces were really small. That way it was much easier to get it to stick to the little fingers of our pizza hand. Then I placed these in the oven at 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're left with a really spooky looking monster hand pizza. Fun and delicious. To go along with this, I'm also serving some slices of kiwi, which I think look a lot like monster eyes, and also a pumpkin Jojo cookie. Now this is a lot like an Oreo cookie, but these ones are from Trader Joe's. And I'm also serving some ghost cottage cheese, which is just a scoop of cottage cheese with some olives for the eyes and mouth. Lastly, I'm also serving some edamame pods, and I've made it into the shape of a claw. Okay guys, here's what they ate. Not too bad. I think they really like the pizza hands. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. Now today I have a super fun Halloween themed lunch. And when I showed the kids, they were really excited. So today we're using a different container. This is a more of a traditional Japanese bento style container. And it comes with this really awesome clear lid. Over here I have a turkey and cheese spider sandwich. Here's how I made them. I started by cutting my bread into circles first. Now you don't have to have a fancy cutter to do this. You can use a regular drinking glass, that'll work just fine. Then I added a thin layer of mayonnaise to my bread, added my turkey, then my cheese, added mustard and mayonnaise to the other side, then for the spider legs I added pretzels on either side of the sandwich. And that's definitely why you need mayonnaise on both sides of the bread because they keep the pretzels in place. Then I took two sandwich picks. Now these are from the Dollar Tree, but you could also use toothpicks. Number one, they kind of keep my sandwich held together. And number two, I can add these really cute olive eyes to my sandwich. Now to go along with that, I have some monster mouth apples. I just took a red apple and sliced it. Then I added a little bit of peanut butter and used some marshmallows for the teeth. I think those came out really fun. Now to go along with our lunch today, I'm also packing some apple juice. 
and these little pumpkin snack bags. I just took a regular sandwich bag, one that does not have a zipper, and I filled it full of baked cheese balls. Now you don't have to use cheese balls, you could use anything that is orange. Goldfish crackers would work, crackers. Then I just put a rubber band around the top. It's super cute and easy. Now for snacks today, I'm also sending a yogurt tube and these really fun little pancakes. I got these from the Japanese store and they're basically just a pancake filled with red bean paste with a cute little character on the front. Let me know in the comments down below if you know who this is. But I used to eat these all the time when I lived in Japan. So hopefully the kids will like them, we'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the lid on and then we'll head out the door. Okay, it's time to see how they did. We've got Mackenzie's, which is empty, Jackson's is empty, and Lily's, well, she has about half a sandwich left, so that's not too bad. What'd you think, Kenzie? Good. It was good. What was your favorite part? The, the spider sandwich. The spider sandwich, cool. Hi guys, and happy Friday. Today I have a really fun and cute Halloween themed lunch that Mackenzie hasn't seen yet. Are you ready to see it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and look. Whoa! <laughs> Do you know what those are? Um, I know, but they look like pigs in a blanket. Yeah, it's kind of like pigs in a blanket, but it's actually a little mummy, a little mummy hot dog. You know what I use for the eyes? Mustard. It's mustard. So this is basically just a hot dog. This is an all beef hot dog that I cut in half and then I wrapped around some crescent dough and baked it in the oven. This would be perfect to do the night before if you don't have a lot of time in the morning. And then I just baked them for about 10 to 15 minutes until they were done. Now, to go along with our mummy dogs, I'm also serving some carrots and some fruit salad. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. Now, for our fruit salad, I'm kind of taking some help from the store. Instead of chopping up all the different fruits, I just grabbed one of these. This is a fruit salad cup that you can get to go at the grocery store and this is the perfect amount to give each of the kids and then some for the toddler and for myself as well. So you pay a little bit extra to have this done for you but it's such a time saver. So I'm also packing some ketchup to dip our mummy dogs in and then I'm also serving one of the easiest Halloween snacks that you can pack and that is a ghost cheese stick. You literally just take a cheese stick and draw on <laughs> with a Sharpie a little ghost face what do you think? Oh, yeah. Cute. Oh, yes. And instead of packing a fork today, I am packing a little pick. These are really cute little fork picks that I got at the Japanese dollar store. They look just like this. So I don't need to pack like a full fork for this kind of lunch. Now, these you can find on Amazon as well. There's one more thing I'm packing, a very special treat, and it is a little package of Halloween Poppy. Okay. Yeah, now this would be like, you know, if you were packing a cookie, but this is like the Japanese version. Now, if you've never had Pocky before, you're missing out because they are one of my favorites. It's basically just like a little cookie breadstick with chocolate on the outside. And these little packages only have a couple, so it's not too many. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lids on. I am putting an ice pack in today so that the hot dogs don't get weird. And then when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, so here's what we're left with. I would say overall lunch was a big success today. Kenzie, what was your favorite? The mummy dogs. What was your favorite, Jack? The mummy dogs too. Yeah, I thought that the fruit salad was probably my favorite. I thought yeah, that mine was really, too. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. Now it looks like Kenzie, you ate everything, Jackson ate everything, and Lily just has a bit of a hot dog left and her carrots. She only ate one carrot, which is not too bad. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already because next week I plan on sharing another week of fun school lunches. I have a few more Halloween ideas to share with you and then back to my regular fun lunches. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.